Welcome back to my Road to Completion Guide for Control. This is episode five, and we're going to pick up a trophy at the beginning of this episode called Para Utilitarian. We have to unlock one ability from the skills tree. Uh, you can see here that we have four that we can choose from. I want you guys to go ahead and unlock Launch One. That's going to give you guys the ability to increase your damage when you use Launch, which is by far uh, one of the best abilities in this game. So that's going to give you guys your very first trophy of this episode. And since we have some extra ability points, you guys can go ahead and pick up launch two as well. That's going to give you some increased damage on the launch ability. Now notice here we're going to be picking up an additional weapon form slot. But now look at the bottom of the screen. See how it says additional personal mod slot. It had one in the middle and on the right. As we give ourselves abilities in this game, we're going to be opening up more personal mod slots. You can see at the bottom, it says personal mods 10 of 24. Then it has that one block that I just was on that had the plus and there's two beside of it. Those two we have to unlock for us to be able to pick up another trophy later on in the guide. So after you guys pick up both of those new abilities, I want you to set up another safety save because we're gonna be farming the same room that we farmed in episode four. We're gonna be picking up another trophy here called Unstable Matter. We have to kill 50 enemies with the launch ability. Now the safety save is important for two reasons. One of the reasons we talked about in the previous episode, remember we are using the launch ability. It carries a lot of momentum. You can kill multiple enemies at the same time. So it's possible to accidentally kill every enemy in this room. And then of course they're not gonna respawn for quite some time. So you guys can load up that safety save just in case you make that mistake. And the second reason is because we need to start farming for materials and source in order to be able to upgrade our weapon later that's going to come in handy for picking up a trophy we need 5,000 source eight undefined reading and four house memory now my launch trophy is about to pop unstable matter you guys will see that and then we're going to talk about source there it is unstable matter so you can pick that up in this room notice in the bottom left hand side of the screen above my health bar it says 9930 now it says plus 200 and it's kind of got that teal color to it that lets you know that you just got 200 more source. So every time you kill an enemy in the game, you pick up more source. You can also pick up some extra source by going into your menu, into your mods, your personal mods or your weapon mods. You guys can scroll across the mod, press square. It'll deconstruct that mod and turn it into source. Now let me give you guys an idea of where you can keep track of all this stuff that we're farming, okay? So go back to your control point, select astral contracts, select weapon forms, and you'll see that we're trying to construct a gun called Shatter. It's basically a shotgun. Notice it says require materials. The numbers on the left is what you have currently in your inventory. The white numbers on the right, that's what you need. So as long as the numbers on the left are greater than the numbers on the right, you guys can go ahead and construct that gun. Now I'm not gonna be constructing my shatter shot until I get into episode six, but you guys can go ahead and do that now if you want to in episode five. As long as you have enough source and materials, you guys are good to go. You'll just have the astral construction trophy a little bit earlier than I will in the guide. And that's pretty much gonna wrap up this episode. Remember 5,000 source, eight undefined reading, four house memory. I'll see you guys in the next one. Be good.